Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to explain that mass is always conserved in chemical reactions. You should then be able to calculate the masses involved in chemical reactions. Now one really important idea in chemistry is called the law of conservation of mass. It sounds tricky but it's really straightforward. Here it is. No atoms are lost or made during a chemical reaction. So the mass of the products equals the mass of the reactants. In this video, we're going to use this law to work out the masses of chemicals in a reaction. OK, here's a chemical reaction. Magnesium reacts with chlorine to make magnesium chloride. Now, in any chemical reaction, scientists call the starting materials the reactants. So in this case, the reactants are magnesium and chlorine. The chemicals that are formed in a reaction are called the products. So in this case, the product is magnesium chloride. Here's a typical exam question. 24 grams of magnesium reacted with 71 grams of chlorine. Calculate the mass of magnesium chloride produced. Now, remember that the law of conservation of mass states that no atoms are lost or made in a chemical reaction. So the mass of the products equals the mass of the reactants. In this reaction, the mass of the reactants is 24 grams plus 71 grams, which is 95 grams. So that means that the mass of the product must also be 95 grams, and that's our final answer. Now, that might seem really easy, but it's a typical exam question, so you may well see this in your exam. Coming up, I'll give you some questions to try yourself. OK, here's a question for you to try. 92 grams of sodium reacts with 32 grams of oxygen. Calculate the mass of sodium oxide produced. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, the total mass of the reactants is 92 grams plus 32 grams, which gives us 124 grams. That means that the mass of the product must also be 124 grams, and that's our final answer. Here's a slightly different version of the same type of question. A mass of calcium carbonate reacted to produce 112 grams of calcium oxide and 88 grams of carbon dioxide. Calculate the mass of calcium carbonate that reacted. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, we know we've produced 112 grams of calcium oxide and 88 grams of carbon dioxide. So we've got a total of 200 grams of product in this reaction. Because we cannot lose or make any atoms in a chemical reaction, we know that we must have started with 200 grams of calcium carbonate. OK, here's one final question. A mass of magnesium oxide reacts with 73 grams of hydrogen chloride to produce 95 grams of magnesium chloride and 18 grams of water. Calculate the mass of magnesium oxide in the reaction. Pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, we know that we've made 95 grams of magnesium chloride and 18 grams of water. So this means that our total mass of product is 113 grams. We started with 73 grams of hydrogen chloride, and we've got to calculate the mass of magnesium oxide that reacted. The total mass of the reactants has to be the same as the total mass of product. This means that the mass of magnesium oxide must be 113 grams minus 73 grams, which gives us a value of 40 grams. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on calculating masses and chemical reactions in my Eurovision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.